Beautiful Sunday afternoon. The weather is just like perfect today. I don't know why it can't be like this. It's basically like California. Yeah, I'd love to live in California. My goal is to have a house there one day. And then one house in New York and I want houses in a lot of places in all, in all honesty. It's gonna happen. So uh, church is out on our way to go pick up some piece of furniture. Uh, not a big deal, but they need my help with it. Then I'll be on my way home. Just a laid, laid back, normal Sunday. I want to talk a little bit later today about vlogging. So I'm going to kind of cut the vlog here. I'm going to kind of cut it short today. But I wanted to talk over something. I watched a video last night by DSLR Guide, and I've been following his channel for a little bit, and he was talking about the dangers of vlogging. And he talked about how people, your audience, can get very connected to that person, but it's important to realize that life in a vlog is not like that of a real life because you edit out the bad parts and you show the positive parts and if you've watched Casey Neistat's vlog and he's the one I've watched most of he always talks about how he wants to have positive content in his vlog a lot of other vloggers are all the same way and if they don't outright say that it's very obvious by the way they present their channel and their vi daily videos that they're only showing positive content these people are just like us and that they they have many different struggles this is one of the reasons why Casey Neistat ended his vlog they just they show the really fun parts and they don't show the stress of having to do a daily vlog every single day and making a creative story I get where he's coming from on all that and I understand that and I get that you as the viewer that's the connection that you want to create he was saying is this a bad thing and to DSLR guide I understand it. I think it's very insightful for you to be looking at it that way but I think that that's kind of what we as a YouTube community love about YouTube is it's like an escape where you go and get away and get to see the fun now me personally for my vlog I've been kind of pretty open about I've been pretty open about the ups and the downs of my life because I wanted it to be like a journal but again I am showing you guys things that I wouldn't normally show in real life and there's some things that I have cut out because to me they seemed a little too personal or irrelevant to the situation today was there was a family incident that happened and I didn't really want to vlog about it and I don't really want to talk about it because it's a very personal thing but the vlog still continues and I still am maintaining my life I am upset about it but even in my normal life I'm still going on so even though that that pressure and that needs to always be looked upon always in a vlog they are just people living a life and you're looking at the highlights and the bad parts you are seeing are there. They're not fake. Like when my car broke down, it legit broke down and that sucked, I was on the side of the road. It's kind of interesting. I don't like it when vloggers want to have just a strictly positive vlog because life isn't like that. So I'm gonna make sure that in this vlog, I maintain the positivity and the realism. That way, what you're seeing is somewhat reality TV and that is really what vlogging is it's reality TV for the most part and it's not fake because take for instance reality shows that you see on cable I don't want to say any names just because I can't stand them but they are so fake they're they're almost scripted for the most part and they'd have to be because look at the way that they're produced so it's vlogging is so much more organic and that's what I love about it. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing it. Not to mention for the fact I'm editing every single day. Anyway, that is where I'm going to end today's vlog.